Hallo zusammen. Herzlich willkommen zu diesem Webinar. Hallo everyone and welcome to our webinar. My name is Michael Windel. I'm a technical trainer at Heidenhain and today I'd like to introduce you to the new TNC7 control from Heidenhain. My guest today is Martin Dietz, one of the product managers. Martin Dietz. Martin Dietz is responsible for the TNC controls and was therefore deeply involved in the development of the TNC7. Martin, give us an impression of the R&D side of things. What was the idea behind the new TNC7 control? Can you hear The TNC7? Glad to, Mike. The TNC7 is the next level of CNC control for Heidenhain. It's about bringing the TNC controls further into the future. You can see here exactly what I mean. The TNC7 features a completely new user interface. The TNC7 can be customized to each user's individual needs. Operation is very intuitive, and one of the main things that we emphasized when developing the TNC7 was, it needs to be task-focused. It needs to support users in their daily work in the best possible manner and guide them through their daily operations. Schauen wir uns die Details. Let's have a closer look at the control in detail. You can already see that it's a completely new screen. Neuer Bildschirm, eine neue Bildschirm. With a new screen layout. And here on the left side, we have our TNC bar. Here we always have access to our operating modes. Immer den Zugriff auf unsere Betriebsarten. Wir haben hier here we have a small dashboard where we always have information on the tool that is currently in the spindle, what the feed rate is, and what the current positions are. Since the control is completely operable by touch, we naturally also have a calculator and a complete on-screen keyboard. Now let's check out the home operating mode. The new home menu, you can already see here, is the entry portal to the new TNC7. We have access to programming, to program run full sequence, to the tool management, and to numerous other frequently needed functions. But not only the home operating mode is new. Aber nicht nur die home Betriebsart ist neu. Martin. Martin, what other new ideas did R&D have for the TNC7? Für die TNC7. Eine neue. One thing that is new is that we did quite a bit with the operating modes, such as with this second item here. There's now a new operating mode called files. Here we implemented many desires that our end users had reported to us every so often over the years. One thing that's really important, a recycle bin. Now you can restore NC programs that you have deleted at any time. Also, the undo and redo commands are available over the entire user interface, so that you can undo and redo your actions. Up to 40 steps are possible, meaning that you can undo up to the last 40 actions and therefore also redo these 40 undone actions. The recycle bin does not have a defined size, so you can recycle and restore a very large number of objects. The entire file management is completely touch operable, meaning you simply work and navigate with your fingertips. There are also favorites, meaning that you can swipe files to the right and add them to the favorites. I'll just go into an NC program here, simply swipe to the right and use the star icon to add it to the favorites. Now this NC program is also visible here in the favorites area. That way you have a very quick access to your important files. But not only has working with files been improved, there's now also a new tables operating mode. Thank you, Martin. Und in dieser Betriebsart Tabellen haben wir nun einen And in this tables operating mode we now have a complete overview of all tables that exist in our system. So here we have the tool management and here's the pocket table and here's the preset management and also many other tables that we can work with here. One nice thing is for example here in the tool management that we can set our own favorites inside these forms. This means that the user himself can specify which information he wants to see on the screen. I press all to see everything that is relevant to this tool. And for example, here I can additionally activate the technological data. You always use the star icon for activation. And then we also see it here in our favorites and thus have a very quick overview. Können das hier in einem, auf einen Blick schnell den Überblick behalten. Aber nicht nur die Betriebs But not only is the tables mode new, quite a lot has also happened in the programming mode. 
For example, here we see the new layout, where we have combined programming and simulation into one operating mode. This is a new possibility for quickly simulating programs while writing them, making changes to them, and then directly start a new simulation with these changes, calling the simulation from right here. The simulation, as you can see, is completely touch operable. We can rotate, zoom in and out, and shift. We can also hide the machine model here, and then we see only the workpiece. For example, here there is also the option of activating a cross-section view, so we can slice through the component and react to anything that still needs to be done. For example, here we see something, aha! That channel isn't open yet, so that still needs to be machined. So what else is new with programming, Martin? Well, a lot has happened regarding the editor. We've introduced a new structure view to make it much easier to use the editor. You can see that here on the left side, the new structure view gives you a rapid access to certain elements of the NC program. For example, datum shifts with cycle 7 are highlighted. For example, here the tool changes are highlighted. This all happens automatically, meaning that the TNC generates the structure view for you all by itself. This gives you a very good overview of the NC program and also permits very quick navigation through the program. One item that we haven't touched on yet is the new graphical programming feature. As an example, we'll use this workpiece here. Now we want to modify this workpiece, specifically this contour here, this contour area. The graphical programming feature of the TNC7 makes this type of change much easier and also the creation of new contours including those from drawings not ideally dimensioned for NC programming. So then we mark this part of our contour label, then we close the simulation and open the graphical programming. And now we'll just simply drag and drop this contour area over to our workspace for graphical programming. And then switch this workspace to full screen mode. We mark the entire contour and then unlock it so that we can edit the elements. Und über das Entsperren werden die Elemente editierbar. Und nun können wir hier den Now we can change the radius here, for example to radius 20. Und den Abstand der Elemente hier. And then we simply modify the spacing between these elements to 40. So now we've modified and adapted the spacing here and begin exporting to set the starting point. Den Startpunkt setzen. Die Steuerung rechnet nun alle. The control now converts all elements into Klartext contour elements. And then we press Generate Klartext and Replace Selection to modify the entire contour label here. Tour label hier angepasst und wir können direkt Die Simulation. And we can start the simulation directly to see if we made these changes correctly. Yep, that looks good. The entire workpiece was machined correctly, and that's a huge advantage of graphical programming. But not everything is new. Heidenhain has an important rule. Our programs are always compatible. And naturally, this rule applies to the TNC7 as well. This means that programs from the predecessor control, meaning the TNC640 and also the ITNC530, are fully compatible and can be machined correctly with the new control. And here's more important information for you, the user. The TNC7 still has a physical operating panel. The control is completely touch operable, and we can do very much by touch. But there are still some old methods, as I call them, like switching to programming mode or switching to manual operation. Or in the programming mode, pressing the cycle def key automatically opens the cycles just the way I'm accustomed to. And I can enter 200 to call the drilling cycle. That way all the old hands, like our friend Mike here, will quickly and easily find their way around this new world of operation. 
You see here that we have a new operating panel, a new TNC panel, that has been designed to go with the touch operation of the TNC-7. The operating panel is not quite as deep, which makes it more ergonomic for you to use. We've also developed a new technology for the keys, making you more effective and efficient when working with the TNC. In this case, the keys can be pressed quicker and more easily than on the predecessor control. Genau. Kommen wir wieder zurück. Exactly. So let's get back to the controls user interface and take a look at the area where the machine's axes actually move. I'm talking about manual operation here. Here we see that quite a lot has been done. We now have the combination of manual operation, positioning with manual data input, and the new touch probe cycles. The touch probe cycles were completely revised. Here you can see an example of the new functions, using a cylinder for alignment, or the position probing function, where we can probe three axes in just one probing function, meaning that we don't have to constantly switch back and forth between functions. Another feature that our R&D did a very good job of integrating is the topic of aligning work holding equipment. I believe that Martin would like to say something more about this. Glad to, Mike. As part of the TNC-7, we also developed a new cycle for you that really makes the alignment and calibration of workholding equipment child's play. This means that you load the workholding equipment in question to the TNC-7 as a 3D model, for example in the form of an STL or M3D file. Then digitally place it on the control to its approximate position in the machine's work envelope. You then start the probing cycle and the TNC guides you interactively, step by step through the probing process. And in just a few seconds, the work holding equipment is correctly aligned. The virtual world of the control now matches the real world in your machine's work envelope, without any real effort. So, let's take a look at the program run, too. The TNC-7 offers many small features here that make work much easier. On the one hand, as we already mentioned earlier, there is the structure view. And with this structure, we can use mid-program startup to quickly jump into our program. But now we also have the possibility, for example, if I want to change something, then I can directly open the program here. Whoops, that was too fast. I can open my program in the editor and then directly enter the changes such as here for the plunging depth. Zum Beispiel die Zustelltiefe hier direkt abändern. Then I select the program directly in the program run mode. I have thus entered the change very quickly and can start the program right away. Kann es direkt starten. Kommen wir nochmal zurück zu unserem Home Menu. Now let's take a look at the home menu again. Here we have the help area where we have prepared step-by-step -step tutorial videos to get you acquainted with the TNC-7 and to learn about the new features for programming with fillable forms such as graphical programming or the new functions for program simulation. Of course, we also have our entire documentation for the controls and our TNC guide, which is a context-sensitive help feature where you always receive support for any function. So, this is the end of our webinar. Let me briefly summarize the highlights of the TNC-7. Item 1. The TNC-7 is intuitively operable with a new user interface designed entirely for touch operation. Second item. The TNC-7 is task-focused. We've created new probing functions for you, for example, in order to measure and align workpieces, to probe workpieces, and also to graphically align workholding equipment. One of the highlights of the TNC-7. And third item, the TNC-7 can be customized to your individual needs, meaning that you place the screen contents wherever you want them on the screen, or you can use favorites to easily see on the screen the most important things that you need for your daily work. Am Bildschirm hinterlegen, die Sie für die tägliche Arbeit am dringendsten brauchen. So, Mike, we've reached the end of our webinar. That's it, the end. Martin, thank you for your time, for accompanying me on our tour of our new control, the TNC-7. Should you have any questions, please use the email address or telephone number that you see below. Thank you for your interest.
and I'd be glad to greet you again at our next webinar. Until then, this is Michael Windel signing off.